How you doing? Anthony Ferraro here for Create Sci-Fi out in the field. Now today I'm in front of the Dollar Sci-Fi Prop Store. Um, civilians might know it as the Dollar Store, but those of us who know, that is a sci-fi prop bazaar in there. So basically when I work on a project, the first thing I do uh, once I decide on some designs due to my limited budgets is I'll go into the dollar store and start putting things together based on um, what ideas I had or sometimes I get ideas while in there. So to kind of illustrate that, I'm not working on anything at the moment, so I'm just going to go in there and see what's going on and to just kind of give you an idea of, of the potential of the sci-fi prop store, otherwise known as the dollar store. Let's go inside. First thing I do is grab a basket, not a cart, because I would buy way too much with a cart. And I usually head straight over to the toys. Now these bubble wands, these are really cool because they're translucent. The handles could be repurposed for something else. And just things like this are really great because you can illuminate them with simple LED lights. While I was here, I found these laser swords. And while they're too small to put in an adult hand for some kind of battle, they would be great joysticks on the deck of my ship. So definitely pick those up. Over to the party section, these shot glasses are great. Again, translucent. You can illuminate them. You can cut the bottoms off and use them as buttons. You can use them as lenses. Just a lot of uses for translucent, cool looking plastic. Heading over next to the craft section, which, you know, these are just Practical things I need to have, metallic silvers, metallic golds. I always pick up a few of these when I'm here. Again, for a dollar, you, you just can't go wrong. All right, now heading over to the kitchen section, these cake knives are great. I've never seen these before. Because they're translucent, this green one, I think with a cooler handle and some light would be really cool. It's old world, new world, that's always cool. These in the craft section, dowels, they're always gonna come in useful and it's cheaper than at a Home Depot or something. So I picked up some of those. Back in the toy section, I found these glasses that are really cool. The spiral lenses are not gonna work, but the form of these, I know if I paint them right, could be very, very cool. So I headed back to the kitchen section, got these strainers, and I think these will be great replacements for those lenses. So I picked up a couple of these. Now over to the party section again, I found these LED finger lights, which are amazing. All the time you're trying to figure out ways to illuminate things, as I mentioned before with the bubble wands and the cups. These are self-contained little units that are just on and off switch. You could probably pop them underneath anything. And these are just fantastic. This was a really great find. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Got my loot. Now those LED lights are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I had no idea about those and those are gonna come in really useful in future projects. That's the kind of thing that I like to stock up on. I mean, they're only a buck, so I got like a half dozen of those. Also, those goggles were pretty cool, glasses, whatever they were. Mixing those up with the screens I found in the kitchen department, I think for my next build, I am going to make some kind of sci-fi goggles. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. I feel like I should get some more of those lights.